And hello from Northern Germany. We're at the Volksparkstadion in the great city of Hamburg. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you this Zweite Bundesliga match. It is Hamburg, and they face Erzgebirge Aue. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Well, I know the home side are very proud of this particular statistic. They can boast the best defensive record in the league, Stuart. Well, they've been so well organised defensively. They press the ball from the front, the midfield players work really hard, and the defence are so disciplined. They're just so hard to break down. A look then at the Hamburg starting 11. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And this confrontation is underway. An important interception. And slipped through beautifully. Anticipation. Oh, just the kind of save every goalkeeper would expect to make. Zonny Kittel. Well, a shot from miles out. Oh, tremendous goal! A long way out, but took it on. A memorable finish. Well, we won't get tired of seeing this, will we? Because that struck so sweetly. He really does surprise everybody here, not least the keeper. What a good finish that is. Now back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. They've given him too much space. And the pass could do damage. This looks promising. Oh, wonder goal! Right out of the top drawer. Who could do better than that? Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So, 2-0 now. Owusu moving it forward Owusu Van Drie. just looking for the right moment for that final pass and well, that's the end of that move for now Zonny Kittle
Owusu. Well, the stats confirm it. Hamburg have had more of the ball and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football and they look like scoring more. Zonny Kittel. They look as though they want to make this move count. And threading it forward. And routine for the keeper in the end. The cross far too close to him. Nazarov. And a chance for him to get in behind, maybe. It's opening up for them. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Getting forward. Now he must favour the cross. Now well, tremendous block. And it's gone out of play. Goal kick coming up. Inching towards the interval, and it's going with home advantage. Stuart, as always, very keen to get your take. Well, they've played some really good football up to now. In particular, the way they've got it into their front players has been excellent. I've also liked the movement of the strikers. They just now need to take this forward into the second half. And he read it superbly. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Excellent first touch under the circumstances there. Robert Glatzel. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. So the half-time whistle is sounded, and it's so far so good for the hosts. Well, before the game, we talked about their defensive record but it's the forwards who have been still in the limelight today. They've been so sharp, plenty of movement, and if the first half is anything to go by, I can see there being more goals in the second half. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Nazarov. Possession and patience, the watchwords. Owusu. Can he finish? Not to be, and still chasing this game. Well, that was the chance to get back into this. As it is, they're going to struggle now. Yatta. Glatzel now. Oh, great vision. And a penalty awarded. Spot kick coming up. Well, there might have been a case for it, but the referee didn't see it that way. Well, Derek, it's a foul, yes. A penalty, absolutely. But for me, it's not a yellow card. The ref has got that right. Well, here it is again. He makes it look so easy. The keeper dives slightly early and he passes it into the other side. Really confident finish.
Substitution time it is. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Zonny Kittel and making the run to the inside now just couldn't keep the ball and the counter attack is on options available Gonter Van Drie. opportunity here a tremendous block Zonny Kittel almost weighing up the opposition with a string of neat passes and a bad pass it was Nazarov and blocked for now Kittel Robert Glatzel. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. A goal! An exceptional performance, this. Four to the good now. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. A lopsided contest, 4-0. Oh, not a great touch. And they've lost possession. Well, they might be onto something. And well, they couldn't quite muster a real threat. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Terrific save. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, no wonder he's got a smirk on his face. Good idea, but the execution lacking a little. Sean Lau. Moritz Haier. Glatzel now. Kinsombi. Yata. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. Could be threatening. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal.
Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Spot on with that tackle. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. And fired from the flank into the area. There will be three minutes added on at the end. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, they've been great defensively, as we know. But it was all about their front players today. Their movement, awareness of space and speed of thought was just too much for their opponents. They could have won this by a lot more.